All right, guys, welcome to this video tutorial. I'm just going to quickly uh, share with you how to set up your new Newton Authenticator. Now, they're doing the 2FA as a mandatory thing now. So if you have Newton, you are going to have to do this now. Uh, what I found was with my account that I had, I actually had to log out uh, because I noticed that I, I had some funds coming in and I will it wasn't reflecting and it wasn't basically it was giving me like these errors so I just logged out of Newton and then I logged back in and when I logged back in it took me through the steps to set up the authenticator so uh, that's one thing you might have to do if you log into your Newton on your phone is to log out and then log back in and when you do it's going to take you through the authenticator process so I am going to quickly share with you guys how that process is and then to set that up and after you set that up uh, you'll be able to use your phone again now on my iPhone I have an iPhone on my phone I set up the uh, basically my face ID so I set that up as well so I don't have to type kind of like use my authenticator all the time I just verify it using my face ID but if my face ID is not there I'm gonna have to use some type of an authenticator software in order to input numbers to get in and what I would recommend would be to use Google as it's very simple to use and I'm gonna quickly just go through the steps to help you so first thing you're gonna do is log in so I'm gonna click continue I'm gonna click continue put your password and your user ID and once you get through that it's going to ask you are required to set up one of the following multi factor authentication methods right so you can use a authenticator or something similar right and that's what I decided to choose so what you would do would be uh, if you do choose this method you would uh, press show key and then you can copy this code or if you go back Or you can click um, you can use your phone open up the Google Authenticator app and then use the camera part to kind of take a picture of this and it's gonna pop the code in uh, automatically so once you um, pop the codes in it's going to give you the authenticator code you enter that and you click continue and then you go through the process after that so I'm gonna just share with you uh, what to do using this method so this is what I did so I clicked on show security keyed I copied it then I went to Google Authenticator on my phone this you'll be doing on your phone go to the, your either your Apple Play Store Google Play or whatever your app store is and then you're gonna go Google Authenticator it's gonna pop up okay and then you're gonna this is going once it downloads you're going to install it once it downloads you're gonna open up the app it's gonna take you through this process you're gonna go get started and then it's going to say simple steps using your camera or you need code to sign in you're going to then enter this page once you enter this page I uh, you could again scan the QR code so if you go scan the QR code that's when you have that image uh, part that I showed before or you can enter a setup key so you see how here I click copy you would then go back into your app and then you go enter setup key I'll click that one once you enter that then you're gonna put in sorry then another page will open up that's gonna ask you to input it you're gonna copy you're gonna paste it in there and then click continue once you do uh, oh and before you click continue you're gonna have to name it so for example this is Newton so I would put Newton and then I would put the code and so then when you go to the next page it's gonna have whatever name you put on it so it'd be like Newton and then this number will populate so this is what you're going to use to input that into here that six digit code and once you have that six digit code you click continue and then it takes you through that process of uh, basically setting up your authentication or the 2, 2 ma 2 ma or 2 fa or whatever they call it um, another thing i think i remember it doing was asking if i want to set up my phone uh, my face id and my password to automatically log in that's up to you guys but if you don't set that up every time you log in it's going to ask you for that 2FA 
just for an extra security layer to make sure your your basically your crypto doesn't get hacked. All right. So the other method I never used, uh, but that's also possible. Let's click it and see. Uh, set up security key. It says connect your security key. A hardware security key such as a UV key is the most secure MFA option on Newton. Uh, it says connect your security key and continue. Follow the steps on the browser. Name your security key to easily identify uh, identify it later. Uh, so you say click security key. And it says security key setup. Set up your security key to sign into authentic authent. Well, this I guess um, URL or I guess this code right here as answer real estate. This request comes from Google published. Okay, and then you click okay. And then you would insert the security key into the USB port and then you would enter that. Now I have not done this method. I'm gonna click cancel. I haven't done this method, so I will cancel out of that. But that's another option. I personally didn't do that part, so I'm not gonna give a step-by-step -step tutorial. The easier easiest one to do is the authenticator one with Google Authenticator or any authenticator app. But if you have an actual USB security key, you can go buy one. And then I guess there's a whole system on how to set it up. So you would have to probably get follow the instructions that comes with the uh, basically that security key and then go through that steps. And that's probably one of the most secure ways because it's kind of like physical USB that only you have that you can utilize and um, be able to set that up. My only thing is if it's a USB code and you're using your phone, it wouldn't make sense to me to set up this method because if you're using your phone, I don't know how you're gonna enter that USB code, if you know what I mean. So I personally would recommend using the first option as it's probably the most convenient. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and show you how to go through the steps. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments and if you're able to do it successfully, also let me know um, if you're able to do it. Okay, hopefully this helps. See you guys in the next video.